Hello everyone. I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative. Today I have for you a art haul. They're luckily getting smaller. Just know that for me one way I deal with anxiety is art. And then the other way I deal with it is shopping for new art supplies or new projects to work on. So in no way should my spending be something I recommend anybody do or as a way to deal with anxiety. If I was producing more art, I would be less anxious, but that's not happening. I'm keeping up with my 365 day challenge, but I'm not making art that I want to be making. And I feel like I'm kind of just staying on the surface right now. And I know what I'm going to hope to do this week is start swatching out some of my supplies. And so there'll be kind of a lot of palette setups and pencil setups that I'm going to work on because I want everything a little bit more handy. And right now, because I keep waiting for time to make a video for you guys with swatching and stuff, I'm not unboxing things and things are still in their wrappers and um, I need to get things out and start playing with them. So I feel the excitement of the item rather than going, okay, I got it, but I don't feel like I have any new supplies because I haven't used them. And I think that will help tamper my spending is that using of the supplies I already have. I've been less than inspired to create. I love sketching like out on the couch or in my favorite chair. And I'm really enjoying the portrait drawings like that. That is making me really happy. Every day I plan to get into the studio and get some watercolor on paper and practice the watercolor and pencils more, but that's just not happening. I have unboxing videos from this month that I just haven't done and I kind of don't care. So I'm excited because a lot of my art haul this week has to do with helping me get set up and more organized because I don't know if you're using this time to kind of get your house ready for summer. I'm trying. I have good days and bad days and but I'm hoping that by Memorial weekend we'll have a little bit more freedom or July 4th who knows but I'm trying to get my house organized for my life now but also for the summer and going on the patio. And so some of the supplies I actually purchased this week are actually nice because some of the supplies in my last art haul video, I now have a place to put them. So anyway, long story short, let's get to see what came in the mail this week. So let's start with the kind of boring things. These Coom sharpeners are awesome. I have the one from Art Snacks that's like this. However, these, this one is for the, it's a color combi. One side for color, one side for normal. And I just thought having a bigger area for that, the shavings to go into might be helpful. And then just even having one that I can just shave without a container because this one, what I don't like about it, I have some shavings in here, is that there's not much space and it fills up really fast. And all my use with color pencils right now is filling this up and I have to dump it constantly. So I was hoping this bigger, but it's not really that much bigger. So if you love color pencils, what kind of sharpener do you have? I do have an X-Acto like electric, which also has paint all over it. Um, and that's really nice, but I find that it eats up my pencils really quickly. So I tend not to use this for colored pencils. I'm hoping this one will give me a little more room than this one, but I don't know. 
So, but I love the comb. They sharpen just so nicely. I get all these little ribbons, not shavings. I get ribbons. So those are nice and boring, but needed for color pencils. The next thing I purchased was this palette cleaner from Turner. I got it at Jerry's Artorama. It's supposed to help. It says Turner Acrylic Gouache. However, it's supposed to work on watercolor too. And I'm kind of like this yellow staining. And so, you know, I'm hoping this will work really well. Contains polyethylene laurel ether. You know, so a little ether probably goes a long way. That was a joke. But there, which I find funny, there is no, it just says palette cleaner, precautions, avoid it, ingesting. For further health information, contact the poison control, harmful if swallowed. But there is absolutely no directions on how to use this. So I kind of find that funny. Let's just go in. Oh, nice. So that yellow here has been stained for quite a while. And, and why that matters is because you don't get a, you know, a necessarily a clear idea of what color, what your color is when it's staining, you know? You want as either a white or a gray surface. It's definitely better than it was. Some of these are really dried on there. But that's definitely whiter than when it started. So the cheapest place I found, don't buy this on if you have these same, these are the Magello watercolor palettes, the airtight ones. This is like the pink one. And you can get them on Amazon for like $9. I love, I actually love the one with the clear mixing surface because I can put my color chart under here. And this is my Daniel Smith palette. And it's, and it is weird colors because I actually bought Daniel Smith originally to just enhance my M. Graham set. So it's not even a, really a complete set. I mean, you could get away with this because I have two blues, two, well, kind of two yellows, a pyrrole scarlet, you know, so you could technically get away with this as a palette. Um, but what I love about Daniel Smith paints, where I'm going off on a tangent, is that some of their ready mixed greens, like the Cascade Green and Green Appetite, are probably two of my favorite greens that are pre-mixed. I do like Rare Green Earth and I guess sometimes the Undersea Green, but I probably use Green Appetite the most out of all the greens in this palette. But, oh, look. Clean makes me happy. I mean, I don't know why this is being stubborn, but I love how clean that is compared to this. Because the yellow, this yellow stains. So that was the Turner Acryl Gouache Palette Cleaner. You can get a Jerry's Artorama for about $6 on sale, and I think you can also get it on Jackson's for about the same price. Amazon, it's more like $10 to $15. So don't buy it there. That's the Turner Acrylic Gouache Palette Cleaner. And I'm really excited about that now. Because I like clean palettes. I know some people like working with a mess. I do not. I like kind of having a fresh start. Maybe I won't always be that way, but right now that's how I am. So, along with my Jerry's Artorama, I purchased some more of the Polychromos Skin Tones. The beige red, salmon, coral, ivory, 
I think cream. So, but I've heard hit or miss on this beige red, but I needed some skin tones because I wanted to start doing some of the color portraits, pencil portraits that I'm doing with some base skin tones and then building color on top of that. So I bought these to try that. And as I said in that video, do not go buy the large set of polychromos because 12 is all you need. Do I listen to my own advice? No. Because I purchased only the 60 set. Only. However, so this was on sale. I think I paid um, and see we have the cream and white in here but I wanted the ivory because see it's kind of missing these kind of pinks the lighter pinks so I needed a couple more pinks in here this is more than enough color but I also do coloring books I wanted to do a video on my coloring books I haven't really got there but like I have I have a subscription to coloring heaven this is the Frightlings Halloween one. And that's another thing I do for Calm. I have these nice earth tones. But this, this is where I think this set is a waste of money. It's nice to have them, but look at all these grays. And I don't know about you, if you color at all. I don't use a lot of grays. So to me, some of these are gonna go to waste. So we have the medium flesh tone here. Yeah, because I think they sent me the wrong one. They sent me coral, but not that I'm opposed to coral because I don't actually have it in here. But they were supposed to, these were supposed to be flesh tones, light flesh tone and medium flesh tone. Um, so I will have to go back over my order because maybe I received the wrong colors. Because I meant to, I was supposed to get light skin tone, dark skin tone. So whether the numbers are the same, because I wanted two. Yeah, this is just called medium flesh. So if one of these is supposed to be medium flesh, then, and these are not light flesh tone. So I'm going to have to call the company and double check on that. So that's where I find these sets. Because for coloring, you work in... Um, sections of yellows so you you have three yellows a light a medium and a dark to get your shading on an area and I'm in no way an expert on coloring with color pencils but that's just what I've heard and what I do is group in threes for each color group and the other reason I went with the 60 set of the polychromos is also so I could match them up with my watercolors. Because Faber-Castell, their colors are the same in each medium. So that really helped. Now this is really ugly and I cannot tell you why I purchased this. Mainly because it was, I was gonna go with black and for some reason at the last minute, I clicked on this one and bought this one instead. And I'm not a big fan of blue. So I can't say what, except for that it has orange and teal on it. I don't know. I would rather have black, but now I don't feel like taking it back. So I'm just gonna go with it. So this is the larger one that fits 220 pencils. I counted up all my pencils, all the different sets I have and extraneous pencils from different sets. I have my Luminance, my Polychromos, my Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. I have my Derwent Intense, Derwent just plain watercolor, and a few Prismacolors. I also have some water-soluble graphite. But basically I counted them up and I have around 200 pencils. And so I wanted one case to get all the clutter out. You know, this will take up about the space of these, but all my pencils will be in one spot. So this was another purchase. These are about $18 on Amazon. They have, they are kind of like a, um, 
a nylon. So it has a pocket here where you could stick a tablet. It's a zipper pocket back here. This is the BSKY Bisky or something like that. I can link below too if I remember. Sometimes I totally forget. It should fit three pencils. And like I was saying, Maybe it's better to go the other way, but should be able to fit three pencils. And like I said, it would be the three lightest yellows and then another set of yellow greens and another set of yellow oranges and then oranges, etc. So maybe I will do a video of setting that up if that seems interesting. I will videotape it. All right, so pencils and the case. I am pretty stoked about that, of just kind of getting everything in one place. So the next thing I have, is help unwrap it, is, I don't know if you've seen Miss Jisoo on YouTube, but this is her sketchbook. She does a lot of faces, a lot of female characters. And I just really love her ink work. She's one of those artists that does a lot of freehand. She doesn't do a lot of sketching beforehand, and I find that amazing. And I was able to find this, I think it was $35, on the Super Superani website, not on Amazon. You can get it cheaper on Superani. So, yeah, she has... You know, there's some nudity in here, so if you're, that's not okay with you, then, you know, this may not be something you'd want to look at. I'll try to edit out the nude pages. Because there, there is some. So, yeah, just, I just find her art interesting, and because she uses ink, she's just a person I really enjoy watching. Her videos. So, Miss Jisoo. Also, if you're not familiar um, with Passion Planner, they're running a sale right now on their 2020 dated planners. I know it's kind of weird in this time to be picking up a planner because, like, what do your days look like? <laughs> they look like anything like mine. Um, there's not much structure, and I keep trying to go back to structure. I get off of my schedule like every few days. I have I have the other um, Law of Attraction planner and maybe I'll do a comparison video if you'd like. So comment below if you'd like that. But this is the Passion Planner and I do have the Law of Attraction planner. They're similar. There's a lot of things similar about them. But these are $7 right now. They're normally like 29 or 30 something for this planner. They're $7 and they're going pretty fast. So, you know, you still have May through December in the dated planner. That's why they're on sale. The year's almost half over. This one, it has monthly reflections. This week's focus, good things that happened this week. That might be a nice thing to focus on. Personal to-do list, work to-do list, space of infinite possibilities, uh, little quotes. I'm not familiar with this one. That's why I picked it up. So here's the beginning of April. So at the end of the month, you have reflections. And the Law of Attraction Planner has a little bit more in way of beginning of the month, end of month stuff. So creating mind maps. I have something, some like daily bullet journaling in this kind of planner. So and it's just kind of like scrapbooking in your planner. Like you can use your watercolors or your markers. And that's another reason, you know, like I like to test these planners out and see how they're going to hold up to my materials. 
So I can totally do a video on comparing and contrasting those two if you're familiar with either of these because I thought for $7, I already have, mine goes through July, I think. And so this one will pick up for the rest of the year this year, but then in January I can decide which one I'm actually using and liking more. But I can show you some of my planner, kind of adding art into your planner rather than separately bullet journaling. So, because for me, I think that works better, but I've stepped away from that the last little while too. So look at Passion Planner, or maybe it's showing up in your feeds. Um, I think it's just passionplanner.com. I picked up the green one. It has blank pages at the back. It has some bullet journal pages at the back for trackers and um, yeah, connect with us. Passionplanner.com, at Passion Planner on Instagram, at Passion Planner Video on YouTube. So check them out. Um, it has a nice little pocket back here, a little welcome. Get 10% off. I forgot to use my 10% code when I purchased this, so you can even get less probably than $7 plus shipping. So to double check that you got that code. Some people are having problems doing planning right now, and that's okay. So this one has a mid-year passion roadmap. So that's kind of cool. So it may be something you need, and it may be something you're just avoiding because of current events. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on that, on how to make your empty, empty weeks feel more alive with some additions. So if you're interested in more of that, let me know. I have the Passion Planner and the Love Attraction Planner for this year. So, and $7, you can't beat that to pick it up and try it out and see if it's something that you want to invest more money next year. Oh, and I really love this cover better than the Love Attraction cover. This is kind of like really soft and flexible. It's a lot more flexible and soft. It, it has a really soft, nice touch where the other one feels real plasticky. So as I said, I picked up some things to help me get organized. I've been collecting poems about you watercolors and I needed a place to put them. And so I needed the bigger tin because I think I'll fill up at least two rows, if not a third already. I love her paints. And so I just need a bigger place to kind of keep them all in one spot because I had a lot of little tins. And this will just be dedicated to my poems about you watercolors. So I picked up a, that up on Amazon for, I think that was $11 for the large. And I also, I guess that didn't come yet. I have a smaller one coming for those schmalls. Roman Schmalls watercolor paints, the 12 set. So I just picked up another pink tin, just the small one, to put those in. And last but not least, Marker Universe was having their alien egg hunt. And that's, I think, still going on once or twice a week. I was able to get, I think, 40%, 30% off the Karen markers. And I, I would, I've had them in my cart and out of my cart a hundred times, but I was able to get them for about, I think $20 each set. So the bad part is they come in these little containers and now I think I have almost the whole set. The only set I don't have is the gray set. So the neons, the summer, or sun and trees. I don't remember what this set is. Oh, this is just kind of mixtures of pens. So I have the different month sets. So this is just kind of a mixture of ones that I've received. And actually these are supposed to be over there. So art, if I've received from my art snacks or my sketch box, they're kind of in here or if I ordered sets of three from Marker Universe because you can order the colors of the month through Marker Universe. 
I just needed these three sets. And now I'm kind of covered. This one is the flower colors. This is the skin tones. This is sky colors. So we got our blues and purples, our pinks, purples, and reds, and then our pinks, beiges, and browns. And then I already have my oranges and greens, my neons, a couple duplicate colors. I haven't figured out why you would want to stack them like this, but you totally can. You have to keep these upright, so, and then this is how you access them, is this little, and I don't like that at all. I would rather have the big pro box. Basically, I've gotten all these on sale. I just know they, they attach, I just haven't figured out why that would be useful, because, you know, then they're gonna be really high. I don't know, it's weird. And why they don't open up from the top. They just open up from the sides. Yeah, see, so there's no quick way to get these out of here. But I'm just using jelly canning jars to keep them corralled. And I have three more for these sets. So the only ones of the Karen Marker or Brush Marker Pros that I don't have is the, the gray and black set, which now that I think about it, black would be really handy, but I don't know, I use them more like watercolors, so it's not, black is not necessarily one of those colors I'm yearning for. I'm not even bothering with these. It feels like such a waste because it's a nice hard plastic container. Yeah, they also look like they connect this way. I'll have to watch some videos because, you know, it's so they connect this way and this way. So they're kind of like building blocks. However, again, how is this handy? Because if you need this marker back here, you're not going to be able to, you have to pull out up. Do you see what I mean? How, I mean, so I need to watch a video. See if there, if maybe I'm missing something. I'm not sure what. So, I mean, it's nice, I guess, if you were you need them to go all in one spot and be contained to keep these. But other than that, I just am not seeing the use of that. The only other thing, I did have some poems about you watercolors come in the mail. I got a couple more colors that I'm excited to show you. But that will be in another video. And I also invested in some Fiskars stamp blocks. I'm going to, I purchased some watercolor stamps to swatch and make watercolor cards. And so I needed these. And these I got on sale. They were just off the, this got peeled off. You know, it looks like it was ran over or something um, or dropped or whatever, but I was able to get like $7 off this from Amazon Warehouse. It was definitely, like, it hasn't even been opened this way yet. Can't get this out yet. Everything looks fine. It's just, it came loose from its card and you get a discount for that. So always check Amazon Warehouse for any of these watercolors, like the Magello sets are cheaper if you get them with a dented box. So check out Amazon Warehouse. And that's it. So I, I don't think I did really bad that sweet deal. Um, and like I said, I was able to snag an egg with 30% off and able to get those for about $20 each, which is more than I wanted to spend this month on markers because you know me and markers. I really love the Brush Marker Pros and I really wanted them for color of the month art. So that was the other reason I grabbed these, was to do color of the month art. And now I think I have all the colors except for the black and gray, which hopefully I can get another coupon or code and get a bunch off and get that one for less as well. But I'm thinking they're gonna have extras of black and gray because who really wants those colors? At least that's my hope. But yeah, so that was the other reason I bought these is I don't have a huge set of Copic markers. I really like doing the color of the month challenges. This month it's the Karen marker challenge is pale pink, pale violet, and pale orange. And you don't have to use Karen markers to do their color of the month challenge. And marker universe colors 
They give you the colors in every brand of marker that they carry, and even some they don't. So I didn't have any of those colors on hand for either challenge, and I really wanted the, at least the Karen markers, and then when I added up how much it would be to have just those six colors for this month, I thought, you know what, let me invest now for later and have all the colors so each month I can do the color of the month challenge without having to go and buy something and pay shipping on three markers. So you see how I justify my spending is buy it now so I save shipping later. If I can get it on sale now, same thing that I save later. So if you don't see me using these, ask me about them. Goal again, I said, is to get everything out of packages as fast as possible in the next couple of weeks. So I can finish setting up my studio. I'm working on remodeling it or putting in a new longer desk and things like that. The more things I can get out of boxes and show you and swatch out, the more I have handy to use and hopefully quickly get rid of things that I'm not going to use long term. So I hope you enjoyed today's content. I'm feeling like I really need to start using some of these new supplies so that I don't have that need to purchase more. Because as long as I'm not using them, it doesn't feel like I have anything new to play with. And I have a lot to play with. And I can't imagine, I'm going to say that, so you can correct me the next time I do an art haul video, that I can't think of much else I need. I do have just a couple more things coming in the mail. I think three. And because I let go of some of those subscription boxes, that also opened up some income to put towards things like this. So if I'm not buying a new subscription box, I can put that money towards something like this. So that's been nice because I've had that freed up money from those. As I said, this is this is okay, but I'm hoping you won't see very many art haul videos that maybe I'll only have one or two things to show you for my art haul instead of a bunch. And then over the next six months, I hope to pare a lot of this down. My slightly used things, I'll do like a slightly used giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But so, I mean, I don't think that's bad. I bought some pencils, only a small thing of watercolor. I got these on sale. I got this on sale. I got this on sale. I got this on sale. So mostly I was driven by sales this week. So if you're wondering what prompted these, if you're playing the egg game on the Marker Universe and there's some markers you want, have the stuff ready in your cart because those, those codes go by quickly. And if you're then shopping for markers while you're looking for those, just watch for the dates and times those are coming up and have stuff in your cart already. So once you find those eggs, you can put your code in and get your discount on your markers. I should say this is about two weeks worth of purchasing. It's not one week. And most things were on sale. So the only things I have coming, I think, in the mail is some stamps, some watercolors, and gosh, I hope that's it. <laughs> anyway, so this was my art haul this week. Tell me what you think, anything you like, didn't like. If you would like to see further content, uh, me setting up my water or my color pencil watercolor pencil bag or comparing the planners just let me know I can do that I'll be setting up my poems for you palette and if you know anything about these markers let me know like why they connect together like this why they open this way how that's even useful for anything I mean, it's really nice that they kind of are like Legos and fit together, but I just haven't figured out why because you definitely won't want to leave them in here. This whole thing tipped out, that would be handy, but it doesn't appear to do so. You know, because if it tipped out and you could reach them all, that would be cool. Top doesn't count. You know, there's no way to reach in and get them. I don't, I don't get it. So 
and like I said, they're just going in jars in their color groups. Let me know anything you're stress buying during this time or are you saving money during this time? I ebb and flow, you know, like there's weeks I'm really stressed about it and don't spend a dime and other weeks I stress buy. So it's kind of going back and forth. So I don't know about you and how you're dealing with things. Are you noticing any really good deals out there? Anything that you're picking up because the prices are lower right now? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more of this content, hit the notification button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative. I hope you have a creative day. Bye.